be doing a book review video and I only have six books. Let's get right into it because I tried to do a video yesterday and it cut me off because I had too much, um, too little video space. So let's just get right into it. So this book my mom got me at the Dollar Tree. So it was only a dollar. And this is called Two Across. It's by Jeff Bardish. I don't know how you say his last name. This is what it looks like. And this book is about these two um, people who, when they were younger, were the National Spelling Bee champions. They tied and they became National Spelling Bee champions. And it just shows you how um, their lives progressed and how they fell in love. He, they came, um, into some problems and stuff, and they used the cross, they used crossword puzzles to, um, that they made for different newspapers, like different, um, like, big time newspapers, like, New York Times, stuff like that, so that they could, um, find each other again, so they would always give clues and hints in this puzzle, so that the other one could find the other one again. And it was a really okay book. The only thing that I didn't like was the woman. Um, she had, I feel like she had, like, a, some kind of, like, I don't know what you would call it. But, um, some kind of issue with, um, her problems. Because every time there was a problem that arose, and but it wasn't her fault, she just decided to just leave. Just up and leave. And... I was like, you're not going to confront the problem, even though it's not your fault. It was your boyfriend's fault. That's the only thing I didn't like about it. It was like, it was like too predictable. Every time when times got tough, she just left. And I was like, if I was this guy, I wouldn't chase her around anymore because it was ridiculous to me anyway that she did that. Um, now this one, when I was at work, um, it rained a lot. And... It's soaked through my bag, and this book is still wet. It's, I think, like, it's been wet since Sunday or Monday. I don't remember. And this is by Debbie McComber. She's one of, like, my favorite authors of fiction. And this is called Mrs. Miracle. Miracles are everywhere. This is what it looks like, and it's about this dad. It's kind of like a Mary Poppins kind of thing. Because his dad has these two twins, their mother died, and he has to take, he has to um, get a nanny to take care of them. And every time they get a nanny, they do some unruly thing. And finally, they um, find this woman, her name is, I forget, like, Ma Miracle or something. And the kids just call her Miracle because it's easier. And she ends up helping... Um, her, she ends up helping the family, she helps the kids, um, get better, she helps the dad find a woman to love him, and she ends up helping, um, the dad's in-laws, which were his wife's, um, mo mother and dad, get back together. And so, like, that, she was basically, like, an angel. And it takes place around Christmas and stuff. And, you know, when it's around Christmas, it's a magical time of year. Things can happen that can't be explained. And it's just, it was a cute little book. I really enjoyed it, even though it did get very wet. Um, this is a series of mystery books that I like to read. It's called, I just call it the Cat Who series. It's basically what it's called. Because it's called, every book is the cat who, and then the cat did something. And this is called The Cat Who Brought Down the House. It's by Lillian Jackson Braun. And the one thing I have to say is that some of these books, they're written on this high-quality paper. And it's really thick. And sometimes it feels like you're skipping maybe like one or two pages. Because the things are really thick. It feels like you're skipping pages. And this is what it looks like. And it's about this, um excuse me, this movie star who decides to come back home to her hometown of, um, Moose County. It's, like, in the middle of nowhere. It's a small little town. And something happens at one of her parties, and it happens to this person who's working for this, 
um, old opera house that got turned into all these different sort of places. And the person that, um, this happened to was, um, one of the girls... twin brothers or something and um stuff like that and there's like this cat show at the place where this um opera house used to be and the um the movie star um she got this um place and she decided to make it into like a movie f club where like they were gonna watch old movies and stuff and the one guy had this idea for this, I forget who it was, it was some kind of thing about a cat sanctuary for cats, and they wanted to do this kind of like auction there, and Quail, the guy who is the main character in all the books, he enters his cats, and his cats end up acting kind of funny during the, the cat show, and help him figure out who the, the person was that killed this guy. They're really good books. Um, just like some of them were just weird how I have a lot, some hardback books like that. And some of the hardback books feel like the pages are like two, like you're skipping two or three pages because the page, the paper is so thick. And then other hardback ones don't feel like that. I don't know why. So this is a Harlequin book. And sometimes with Har Harlequin books, they're like a hit or miss, like sometimes they're good, sometimes they're not. This is called The Bachelor's Baby. It's by Mia Ross, and this is what it looks like. It takes place around Valentine's Day, and it's about this single mom who comes back to her hometown because the guy she was with didn't treat her right, and she had his baby, and she comes back to his hometown, and she works for her old boyfriend, and it was just about them getting back together, and it was a really cute story. I really liked it. I mean, it was, um, it takes place in Liberty Creek. And it was a nice story. I really enjoyed it. Um, it wasn't, like, really dramatic or anything like that. And it was a small little book. I mean, these are small anyway. But I read this in a day and I really enjoyed it. Sometimes when you read these books, they're like a hit or miss. And this is another one that got wet. Um, but this one is okay it's not dry it's still it's it dried out but i don't know why the other book isn't um this is called this is a mrs marple murder mystery and it's by agatha christie it's called a caribbean mystery and this is what it looks like and it takes place um on a cruise with mrs marple and one of the men um end up dying because he takes these pills um, old, old Major Paul Grant, that's his name, and he gets murdered from these pills he took, and she helps try to figure out, um, what happened to him and stuff. Um, this one really wasn't that interesting to me. It really didn't, um, I really didn't get into it. It takes place on the island of St. Heron. I don't know how you say the island's name. And it's just okay. It's not a great book. I don't really, um, some of these books are okay. Some aren't. I mean, I really just don't get into those books a lot lately. I don't know why. I just haven't been getting into them. So this is the last one I have. This is a flower shop mystery. It's called Dearly Depotted, and it's by Kate Collins. And this is, like, the third or fourth one in the series. And with all the, um... The mystery books that I show you guys. I don't read them in a certain order. I just read them as I get them. So I don't read them like, you know, oh, I'll read the first one first. Like, I just get them, I read them as I get them because you never know when you're going to find these books. I find most of these books at, like, book sales or something unless I tell you I got them from, like, Walmart or Dollar Tree or something. So this is what it looks like. And like I said, it's like the third or fourth book in the series. And it takes place at her, at Abby's cousin's wedding. Abby is the main character. She owns this flower shop called Bloomers. And because it's a wedding, she was going to do the flowers for her cousin's wedding. And she was going to be in it. And 
this um, guy shows up that Julian, her cousin, didn't want to show up to her wedding. And he ends up getting murdered. And as Abby's trying to comfort her um, cousin and make her go on her honeymoon and stuff, she ends up trying to figure out who killed this guy. And it was a really, really funny... It, these books have, like, a sense of humor that's really funny. I mean, with all the drama that goes on with the crime and everything, but it's really, really good. And the guy who, um... The guy who gets murdered, his name is Jack Snyder, and he's trying to figure out who did it, why, um, because he did, the guy who, um, Jack, he has, like, a history of being a bad guy and stuff. And these are really good books. I read a couple of them, and they're really good. They always have, um, punny titles, which I like. I like when they're, like, kind of have a pun in them. Um, so that was all the books I have for this video. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I'll see you guys next time with another video.